<laughs> Hi, I'm Mishti Max, and I'm here to share this villainous lip art tutorial. I took inspiration from the daunting visage of Jafar from the movie Aladdin and based this lip on his evil tendencies and delightful Disney colors. Jafar's twisted being as an amoral psychopath materialized into these red and black joker style smiling corners and overemphasized outlined lip. With the wisdom of a trusted advisor, I applied some MAC Prep and Prime Lip Base. I patiently schemed with the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip Liner in 8C, rimming the lips yet keeping inside the natural lip line, then creating a metaphorical mask of normalcy by filling in a simple lip of red. To portray the blood red undercoat of Jafar's cape, I have Yves Saint Laurent Rouge Pour Couture Lipstick in number one Le Rouge, which I slyly applied while holding back deranged laughter. <laughs> in my bony hands, I grasped the Makeup Forever Flash Palette and lashed out at both the red and the black cream colors to ruthlessly torment the outer thirds of my lips. Using my sadistic nature, I deepened the corners with a darker mixture, dragging you further and further into my web of deceit and control with a twisted curl of the lips and a prod of the finger. And I blended the nefarious shades into the central red area, employing more lipstick straight from the bullet. Like a dark man who waits with a dark purpose, I prepared an insidious fluid with my alchemist training and the Inglot Gel Eyeliner in number 77 to release the darkness. The Sigmic Winged Eyeliner Brush is the perfect tool to carve a sharp slash underneath the lip line to represent Jafar's twisted black goatee and thin devious moustache. I followed the form upwards, fashioning winged points at the corners, sweeping along the upper lip line to depict his sinister coal-rimmed eyes, complete with fiendish flicks. To further involve the daunting visage of Jafar, I thickened up the outer edges and plunged upwards towards the cupid's bow with a callous curve, mimicking his cruel eyebrows. Then I took the peaks of the Cupid's bow to new heights of perversion to dramatically embody the menacing shoulders of Jafar's pointed robe and curled tips of his shoes. And for now, I left it there in the depths of the dungeon, shackled to the wall with no escape. I draw on more phenomenal cosmic powers to release the intimidating silhouette of his long billowing black cape. I'm dragging the black gel further in from the harsh edges, buffing around the perimeter with a lip brush to spawn a more mysterious vision. To keep a hypnotizing and hazy feel, I call on more red cream, blending into the evasive perimeter with a fresh lip brush and also engaging a more hands-on approach. I desired not to lose the vicious brutality of the structure, so I commanded the tiny angled brush once again into my power to redefine the fearsome border. I made sure to keep the central blood red portion as commanding and terrifying as possible and not let the murkiness encroach too far, using a bit more blending and some sprucing up of the lipstick. With the help of my snake-shaped staff, I mesmerize Sugar Pill Goldilocks and bend it to my will upon the center of my lips. I began with the lip brush, yet forged on with a more digital method, allowing the shine of the gold to gleam like a freshly rubbed lamp. But to truly characterize the snake's evil countenance at the head of Jafar's magical staff, I cajoled the metallic gold pigment into a savage arched flare at the top to match the shape of the cupid's bow and formed a merciless triangle at the lower portion with the lip brush in my monstrous clutches. My cunning plot has come to fruition, not only to become the Sultan of Agrabah, but also the ruler of the universe. I created this look a couple of years ago, but the footage got destroyed when my recording device committed suicide. But now I've got this diabolical scheme out of my system. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this sinister and corrupt lip art tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Also, check out my band and podcast on iTunes. And my P.O. box is in the description box. Shh.